It's the part you've all been waiting for this evening, performance tasks. It's the part that everybody loves talking about the most, about the new interim or the new assessment system. So we're going to spend some quality time talking about it, maybe having to use four-letter words about it, but still talking <laughs> about it. <laughs> SBAC are good. Yes, that, those could be some of the words, letters we use. Mm -hmm. So just to give a little bit, I know that you guys are all experts on it, but just to give a little bit of background. So basically, performance tests take those constructed response and extended response to another level. Most of the time, in the ones that we've seen, they cross grade levels, they cross content areas, and they're measuring a much deeper level of knowledge and analysis that, uh, of kids. Um, we all know this is going to be a part of the assessment system for the kids, so on the um, interim assessments, so the ones that happen about a third of the way through the year and two-thirds of the way through the year, there will be a performance task that the students have to do, as well as a performance task that they'll have to do on the summative assessment at the end of the year. So we know that it's going to be a part of what they have to do. So the struggle that we have as teachers is like figuring out, okay, I know this is a reality that our kids are going to face, and now with everything else, I just have to figure out how I work this in to everything else that I'm supposed to do. So um, the other part that's kind of interesting, and we're going to take a look at this, is that um, it's not just um, one piece of media or one mode that they're going to be assessed in. Um, it's going to have lots of different looks and feels to it. So we're going to kind of um, do a little bit of uh, analyzing of that. Um, and it could have a components of research. And in fact, the, the ELA component especially will have pieces of research that are involved. The math pieces, their version of research will be um, a lot of times the performance tasks have a lot to do with statistics in the middle, middle, middle school and um, high school. So that's, that's kind of their version of research at the, at the math level is uh, taking a survey of some sort um, and then analyzing that data. So what I want you guys to do just to kind of to, to start this off is to have a conversation at your tables about we're not, I'm not going to come from the place that I'm not assuming. I don't want to assume that you're not doing this. I want to come from the place of assuming that you're already trying to think about this in your classrooms. So have a conversation about what that is and what that is looking like in your classrooms. But really I want you to talk about, okay, so some of you I'm sure have tried it, but what kind of things are you bumping into? Uh, what, you know, potholes is a good thing to talk about since they're everywhere and swallowing up our cars everywhere we go. So what kinds of potholes are you bumping into in your classrooms as you're trying to think about and incorporate these different performance tasks into your classrooms? Okay, so have that conversation at your table, please. <laughs> 